Yep, Atlanta's number hip hop station is Hot 179. You dirty J Nick's Five Got a Radio. Just now tuning in, man. Miss Ashley Barbie is checking in. We were talking about porn porn. Porn porn. So you do porn porn. So what is actually porn porn? What was all involved in porn porn or your Snap Premium? Porn porn is like, you know, there's some girls that just do, like, they show a little skin. They do a little twerk here and there. Uh-huh. Like, I do the real deal. So you having, like, sex with yourself. Um, What else? I have sex with myself. I have sex with my girlfriends. I have sex with my boyfriends. Friends? How many boyfriends do you have? Well, they're just for the moment. Uh, oh, okay. Just, you know, I scout people. I'll be like, oh, you look like you would make a good video, so... And so then, and what does these guys and say? They just, they just the be spot. down well, with it. Them, no, no. Some of them are really nervous. It messes the whole. It messes it up. But um, I let them know in advance what is. Okay, what's okay. Going so on. okay, so let's do this. Okay, I'm the guy. You seen me walking? I'm looking all good and fly like me, Stewie. Like I'm a little bit more jewelry on my glass, looking fresh. Okay, then approach me. How, how would you present this? So my pickup line is my selling point is, hey, um, I I do like some videos. Like if you. If you want to make some videos, we can go have some fun. Your face don't have to be in it. That's my that's my selling point. Okay. Your face don't have to be okay, in so, it. And then so, they'll be like, oh, okay. So I'm the guy. So what type of videos are we? What are you playing on? What kind of videos are you talking about? I don't um, really sing or anything. So well, first I'll be like, what kind of shot do you want? We'll take a couple of shots. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm probably an AVI man. Okay, keep going. Talk to All me. Right, talk so to we'll me we'll like the like guy. Come on, let's have a let's have um, a conversation. So I I uh, do do like private porn. Okay, so I that's make interesting. videos. And it's only for my members to see. Nobody else can see. It's not open to the public, so nobody will see unless they pay. Okay. Um. So if you want to come and join me, we can have some fun, and your face doesn't have to go in it. So I just, and I, just, I, just I just, I just give a little smile. I just go with you, and and, and they be like, okay. And, and what's gonna happen to me if I go with you? What are you gonna do to me? Uh, you don't really have to do anything. So what are you gonna you do to me? You just have to lend your your uh, a private part. You just have to lend yourself. Just just drop my just drop my draws. <laughs> yeah. All you gotta do is drop it. I'm not shy at all, so I, I don't have to beat. I don't beat around the bush. I beat. <laughs> I beat the bush. <laughs> well, what, what do you do if you have tattoos? Because if I put my, can I put? Is there? You have a bar that I can hold on to that I can, so nobody can see my tattoos. No, some people do have issues with it if they have tattoos. Okay. But really, it's not that many. You know, it's not going to be all out there for the world to see. It's just, it's not like, you for know, your mainstream personal. porn. It's just for my personal stuff. I don't know how it would feel if a woman like you asked me that. I think I would just be, like, shocked. I would probably have to tell all my homies, Everybody's like, Bruh, shocked. I just met this girl that told me she wanted to give me it on her camera, and that's it. Everybody's just come on home. shocked. Like, they, it's, and it's actually, like, a turn-on for them. A like, to, ha- to have the camera and to, like... Be in that situation. So, do you let them control the camera? Because when I was when I was younger, you know what I'm saying. I, I put a little age on. I'm, I'm more mature now. You know what I'm saying. I was wilding, but I used to. I liked. I used to like the film. Like I would. Yeah. Take the camera phone, like the light. Yeah. The POV. Phone. Yeah. So it's like personal. So do you do you actually have a camera set up, or you let the guy tape from a guy's point of view? It depends. I do both. Okay. So nor it's really good when the guy has the camera because you can it, see his view. Yeah, that's of pretty everything. dope. Yeah, so I then would. like, you know, whoever's watching the video, they get to see like it's them. They can just, you know, like sit there and pretend like it's them. Okay, so if you caught me a little while ago, I definitely would have uh, 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 accepted that challenge. Oh, I'm, I'm just let you know. Um, yep. I'm um, definitely did because I'm amazing. I'll okay, let you um, know what bar I'm at tonight if you want to show up and we can do the whole role play. <laughs> no, no, I don't think I need those shots, man. You know what I'm saying? Because liquor make you do crazy things. Nobody so, will know. So let's go. Let's go it's back to let's down. go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go back to walking through the mall, man. So like, is that is that a, was that that's kind of scary? You know what I'm saying? Considering that there's a lot of sex traffic and stuff going on and kids getting snatched up, so you actually got approached at 16 years old. Yes. It is scary. It was scary, and it was not an ideal situation. So it's what kind of opened my eyes to the whole industry. Mm-hmm. But it uh, could have easily been a sex trafficking situation, right? That I could have gotten myself into because the manager ended up being a pimp. Yeah, I, I, can't I, that. I didn't even know pimps were a real thing. Yeah, I, I, I found that out when I was that young. I had no. I mean, I. I guess I wasn't that young, but I didn't know. Pimping. I mean, sixteen, I sixteen, it was like no, on movies. But that's what I'm saying. Sixteen and, and understanding pimping, like you, you hear about it, you heard it before. Like, yeah. I'm pimp like this, but you didn't know it was and like these girls that came up to me. They were like pretty, and they were like blinged out, and I was like, yeah, that shit looks. I'm cool. down with or it. That you know that looks cool. So I was down, and then it ended up being a bad situation. So was he? Did he, did he get abusive, or or was there any of that going on? No, he actually. I just got introduced to the industry through that uh situation but i didn't stay with them okay um so he wasn't like a strong arm pimp like bitch you're not going nowhere no he wasn't he wasn't um but the girls that he did have like under his wing he obviously was 
you know, everything was his. It was his money. They were living in his house and all of this stuff. And I didn't know that that was the situation. So as soon as I realized that was what was going on, I was it's like my parents there. aren't that cool. And then at that point, I was completely independent. So I I realized that I was good at dancing and people were interested in me. So I started going to clubs and doing everything on my own. So what at what age did you realize like you know I can do this on my own? Because you you got in the game at sixteen. It was about the time you hit eighteen. So all the time you still in high school, did you drop out of high school? No, I quit high school. When did you quit high school? At 16. So what is your, I, I'm just trying to figure out where moms and pops at. Moms and pops just busy. What they doing? Kicking it, going to the club, partying? Yeah. Just not responsible? Yeah, they're partiers. So my dad was gone. So my mom, um, she was like a partier. She tried to be more of my best friend. She always felt like if she's my friend that she can, you know, keep more tabs on me than as if she was like a parent figure. So she tried to be my best friend. She right. wanted me to talk to her about everything. She was a partier too. Right. So, you know, she, she didn't really keep up with um she didn't really keep up with what was going on so do you think that like do you think that sometimes you were like when you first started because you said you used to be all like it was kind of like always kind of would you say promiscuous like you just yeah. guys at a young age so would you would you think that was part of like just her not being there or not showing attention or or her father um, not being there or what you what do you think honestly i just think i've always been an open person mm. i like sex is natural like being attracted to people is not or is natural okay. and I'm not shy of a camera at all. So I'm not shy of being in front of a crowd. And I know that men are a very easy way to make money. Right. So do you think that if your parents were on you, like your dad was there all the time and your mom was on there, that it would be different? No. So you just in your mind, you just know like, hey, this is what I am. This is what I this is what I represent. Yeah, because I, I started being promiscuous when I was around fourteen. Whoa, and, wait, fourteen? <laughs> Man, my, what my school did you go to? Were, my parents were um, they were still together at that point. Okay. So it was like a little bit more of a structured household. Right. And they tried to control stuff, but I didn't. It already happened at that young of age. I mean, they just weren't able to. Right. Like, I'm just like very strong headed. So I think when I decided, you know, what path I was going to take, that's what I was going to do. So at 14, you pretty much knew like, you just like, you know what? That was just the start to kick off. First no, time you had a little I've bit of. I've never been shy around boys. I've never like felt intimidated or been that girl that like feels like I'm ugly or I don't know. I just always felt like I knew that I had an advantage these over looks, men. These and looks I, will get you <laughs> somewhere. Going for it. Let's make some money off of it. Okay, so um, okay, so with the, with that aspect, of like, do you, are there any regrets? Like, you know, what I'm saying, as far as like from your past and things that you've done, like, you know, what I'm saying, like, where are you headed for your future? Like, have you ever thought about yeah. that, or what's? I mean, what's 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 your mind thinking about now? Yeah, um, I do have regrets because there are things that I would like. I think that. If my life had went completely different, I would probably be in a, you know, obviously in a different industry. I would like to be a nurse. A nurse? Yeah. How about some nurse clothes and doing this industry? That's kind of well, yeah, cool. Yeah, I do that often, right. too. <laughs> nurse Bay, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I would like to be a nurse. Um, there's other paths that I could have taken, but then I would probably always have, like, the wild girl in me that's right. just dying to come out. So, so it's I'm like, living this life, and then I might have that life later on. It mm, okay, so the freak, was, the freak is too strong. The freak is too strong. It's too strong. Okay, I Friday the thirteenth. The freaks come out at night. Okay, so okay, so <laughs> we, after that, so what is your what's your plan next? As far as like you know, what I'm saying because at the end of the day, we always have to have an end goal. You know, what I'm saying after the Snapchat premium is done, what is your ultimate goal? So, um, I also wanted to specify from what I said earlier. I don't really do a premium that much anymore. I have my website that I upload content on. It never disappears. It's a lot better than premium. Um, but my end goal is. You know what? I don't. Really, I have so many different routes that I could take. Right. I'm not really sure. What so, is I want something my that you're preparing for right now, or be right now? Is it something you're preparing for? Or? Um, no. <laughs> I like to live day by day. So, I am going to move to a different city. Okay. Um, I don't know which city I'm going to move to. I'm, I'm thinking L.A. or Miami. Okay. So, I'm going to relocate. I'm going to. I am preparing for my future financially. Right. Um. So, I'm setting myself up for that. I want to be. Financially stable. Um, and I want to always just be able to live out like my my inner freak. Right. He's just always. <laughs> so neck islands are off. If, if Ashley had somebody take her to a date and it was the new beach, new island, you're all for it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So let me ask this question, okay? Because we talked about this interview that we couldn't really say on the radio. What's the craziest thing? Are these guys really pervs like that? Like, what's the craziest thing you've seen or heard? Like, oh, Lord. top three. I can really say. Yes, you can say and you can cuss. Okay. Honest. So, um, <clears throat> this one guy brought his own feather duster and <laughs> wanted it put up his ass with the feather end sticking out. 
And he just wanted to like march back and forth, literally march, not walk, but like march back and forth the hotel room. Uh huh. And <laughs> so, wait, wait a minute. So, how does these requests come through? He th- he he took me off guard with that one because I don't take requests like this. Right. So he took me off guard. He came in with a suitcase and with all of his equipment in there, his uh, his granny panties, his so he had granny panties on stockings, too. his heels, his everything, his feather duster. So he had a whole maid outfit, a woman's yeah. maid outfit. Yeah. They want you to stick the feather duster up his butt with the feathers outward, like a, like almost like a peacock. Yeah. And yeah, march around. Yeah, he was like, exactly like a peacock. Okay. So it was up his ass, it was up his butt, and then the, the feathers were sticking out, and he was walking around the room and with his much, heels and with his stockings. So how much, and that was it? That, that was, was the was whole it. act? Yeah. So no sex or anything like that? No. So how much, it was just his fetish to be able to, to, to have somebody see that. So how much did you charge for that? Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred to stick a stick a feather duster up my butt and walk around like a peacock. I'm, if I'm sticking it up his ass, I don't care as long as it's you know. Okay, as okay, as okay. Not okay. Going that's my- one. That's weird. <laughs> okay, so and that was shocking to you, like was yeah. it, it just threw you all the way off? Yeah. Okay, so what- I didn't expect that he didn't ask me beforehand if I was okay with it. He just came in the room with his briefcase, and I'm like, what the hell is this? And was he married? I'm assuming. Yeah, they all most like ninety eight percent of them are. Okay, give me give me another story. Uh, one guy liked to have oranges thrown at him. That's the weirdest thing because I can't figure it out. He, well, he likes to what? He likes to crouch down in the corner and get oranges thrown at him. Are they cut oranges, full oranges? Are they like halos, no, tangerines? Like full oranges. Full oranges. Just regular full oranges. He brings oranges and he crouches in the corner and likes to get hit really hard with oranges. So is this like a is this like a under pitch, a speed pitch softball no, or is it like an overhand? Pit, a speed like a baseball. So Oosh. out of how many so out of how many sacks of oranges, how many times did you hit them? Oh, I was good. Okay. We were like we we weren't a very far distance. Okay. So I this mean I was, I was nailing him. Okay. He loved it. And how much did you charge for this? Every second of it. Any type of anything like that is fifteen hundred normally. Okay. So any type of fetish. If it's not just, you know, like something normal. the ping pow pow okay uh, yeah okay give me give me okay give me one more because this is crazy mm. one more that you can think of because i've heard guys to like to get peed on them. boo-booed on oh I, this yeah one girl they love told, that yeah. well i tried to pee on a guy one time and i couldn't okay why i just i don't know it's just Didn't something drink I, water. I can't do i no, it's just so it's a weird it's a weird position okay with somebody under you and you're trying to pee on them okay so what and happened? I, did, I did, did you have the, to give him? Did you have to refund that I, money? No, I didn't refund him. Okay, so what, what did you do? Because I still tried. I got like a drip. Okay, so that was just enough for him. It, the tip. I mean, he still got what he requested. <laughs> <laughs> He's dying. Okay, so Ashley, I, I, you know what? At this point, I can't be mad. I mean, if I got paid fifteen hundred dollars to throw oranges at a lady crouch down, or if a lady wants a peacock and walk around with a, a feather duster up her butt, and I get paid fifteen hundred dollars, yeah, of course you would do it. Yeah. I, I can't. Yeah, I mean, not like we're doing something that they wouldn't do, but you guys would do it too. I wouldn't do a, what they actually like to get done to them, <laughs> but I see where that could be some money. Let me know your Instagram one more time. My Instagram's official Ashley Barbie. Follow and, it now. And what's that website we can see you do everything porn porn? Woo! My website is ashleybarbiebaby.com. And then you can click on my OnlyFans. You can see all of my porn porn, all of my exclusive content, and you can see my real life sex sessions okay so fellas if you're if you if you have a happy home and uh you don't want to cheat on your girl and you're attractive if you see this beautiful busty light-skinned woman come walking your way go the other way because it's danger you might get approached don't if she asks you for some shots it's a wrap fellas it's a wrap <laughs> ask the barber ladies and gentlemen dirty boys out of 79